An internal probe by the Wilmington Police Department reveals hate-filled conversations with three veteran officers. Officer Kevin Piner is heard telling Corporal Jesse Moore that the protest would soon lead to a civil war and that he is ready. He goes on to tell Moore that he was going to buy a new assault rifle and soon we are just going to go out and start slaughtering them expletive N-words. Piner says a civil war is needed to wipe them off the expletive map. That'll put them back about four or five generations. Later, during a phone call with Piner, Moore refers to a woman he arrested as the N-word and says she needed a bullet in her head right then. Donnie Williams is the department's new police chief. He fired the officers on his first day. When you talk about killing people and generations of people, that is disturbing. According to investigators, the officers blame their comments on the stress of today's climate in law enforcement. North Carolina cops were caught on a police audio recording saying a new civil war was necessary to wipe black people off the map, longing to, quote, start slaughtering them and using the N-word repeatedly. Quote, I can't wait. God, I can't wait. <sighs> More from a local news report on this. The Wilmington Police Department fired three now former officers. A patrol car camera caught their disturbingly violent and racist comments against black people. Today, the district attorney dismissed nearly 90 cases involving those three former officers. Transcriptions from a video recorded on one corporal's onboard camera show these three men used racist language. Some of it's so vulgar we won't repeat it on TV. Some of it is violent towards African Americans. Officer Michael Piner, Corporal Jesse Moore, and Officer James Gilmore are all being fired. The police department says these conversations were discovered internally as part of a regular monthly review of video footage. Much information is again being made public that ordinarily would not be in the name of transparency. During this afternoon's press conference, Chief Williams quoted District Attorney Ben David in saying, it's unacceptable. I'd say this is shocking. Uh, it's just angering more than anything, it's, but it's not shocking. Um, this is what happens when you heavily militarize the police department, so much so that it, sorry, attracts high school bullies with racist intentions. Um, they see themselves as an occupying force in black communities. And that's why they say, see it as an us versus them thing. So yeah, they're, they're, they're really gonna serve the community when they see black people as the enemy in a civil war. I mean, it's just vile, disgusting. I'm glad that they were fired and no police department obviously should ever employ them again. So many people harbor these thoughts, but cops have the ability to act on them. And when you, again, have a profession that allows you to play cowboy and tote a gun and get to feel really strong and put on a uniform and lord over people, specifically black people, which cops know that that's what they're able to do, and you make that the incentive structure, what do you know? You attract vile bully racists who say things like this. Uh, more on this story from the Washington Post. Sitting in his patrol car in Wilmington, North Carolina, Officer Michael Kevin Piner predicted Black Lives Matter protests would soon lead to civil war. I'm ready, Piner told another officer, adding that he planned to buy an assault rifle. We are just going to go out and start slaughtering them effing N-words, he said. Wipe them off the effing map, Piner said. <laughs> Jesus, African Americans, that'll put them back about five, four or five generations. Piner, a Wilmington police officer since 1998, began the recording by expressing his fury about the ongoing protests against police brutality and racial injustice in the wake of George Floyd's death. The officer Piner was speaking to, Officer James Brian Gilmore, hired by the department in 1997, said that whites were now worshiping blacks, adding that he'd seen a video of a fine looking white girl and this punk pretty boy bowing down and kissing their toes, whatever the hell that means. Later, while complaining about a black judge whom Moore, another officer, called an effing Negro magistrate, God damn it, Moore added, it's bad, man, because not all black people are like that. Most of them, Piner responded, 90% of them, Kevin, 90 effing percent of them, Moore said. Soon, Piner turned the conversation to his belief that the Civil War was imminent, 
and his intention to buy a high-powered weaponry. After saying he was ready to slaughter black people, he added, God, I can't wait. As I believe that that local news report uh, stated, this audio came to light by chance. It was a part of an internal, uh, regular, routine review where this audio was captured when they were sitting in squad cars talking to each other. How much more is out there that wasn't picked up in basic internal review practices? How much more? Let me see.